Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would just like to say thank you to the Yukon Neag School of Education's Alumni Board and the staff from Highcrest Elementary School for recognizing me as the 2022 Outstanding School Administrator of the Year. I vividly remember the moment I received the phone call from Neag. I answered the phone in the main office, helping out my secretary, and thought I was talking to a telemarketer. It was budget season after all. When the person on the other end of the line told me I had been chosen for this award, I was quite frankly shocked. Much as I was when my staff told me they had nominated me in the first place. I had thought a lot about why that was. I have never thought of myself as being outstanding, but I have been told many times by people I've worked with and for that I do excel in my position. So, despite not feeling particularly outstanding and not liking to even receive a compliment, let alone brag about myself on camera, I decided to ask the staff who nominated me, why did you do it? What made me different from the administrators you have worked with over the years? So I asked them to give me a few words that they, they would use to describe me and decided to reflect on the words they chose. The first was, you believe. Much like Ted Lasso, I believe we can all be better and should never be content with where we are. I think cynicism is the downfall of public education. Believing we can make positive change and be better as both individuals and organizations is an essential first step towards improvement. I have found in my career as both a teacher and an administrator that negativity derails so many of our efforts and can turn schools into places where no one wants to be. I want to enjoy coming to work every day and my staff and shouldn't, students should too. The next word they said was honest. I have always found that in order to move an organization forward, you have to be willing to be honest and confront the issues we are facing and be willing to work together to find solutions. That takes trust in the people around you and a willingness to take risks. Not all solutions or decisions are going to work out as you want them to, but you increase the likelihood of success if you truly collaborate with your staff and shift from me to we. This approach takes more time, but will create meaningful change if you are willing to be patient. The other word they decided to choose was human. As a boss, admittedly one of my least favorite words, it is also essential that we remember that we are all human, meaning we all make mistakes. We need to find balance within our lives to be the best versions of ourselves, as not only educators, but as moms, dads, sisters, brothers, partners, grandparents, kids, etc. Teachers and administrators need to be lifted up and supported, whether that is through the never empty chocolate supply in the staff lounge or lunch at PD days, all the way to well-crafted, responsive professional development that meets students and teachers' needs. Our schools need to be places where students and staff want to be and inspire them to be the best version of themselves. The last thing they said resonated with me and frankly brought me to tears. Not something I want to admit. But they said, Siobhan, you were the first administrator who made it always about the kids and wouldn't settle for less than our best. I truly believe and passionately believe that providing a high quality education is a human right. And as educators, we have a moral obligation to ensure each one of our classrooms meets the needs of the students in front of them. That is what drives me. And I hope that is what drives all teachers, paras and administrators every day. As our job as administrators sometimes can be thankless, it's also very important that we recognize that our role is such an essential part of our students and staff's success. And I hope that we all collectively strive to be outstanding each and every day because our kids truly deserve it. Again, thank you to the Highcrest staff and the NEAG Alumni Board for this amazing honor and congratulations to all of tonight's winners.